Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got something a little bit different again today. Um, I'm not on the tag challenge today. I've um, that will come out. I think I'll probably bring that out Saturday. And um, I'm just waiting for one more tag to make. Um, but today I've dipped my toe into um, digi kits, uh, as in making them. So I decided to gather up some of my vintage linens. I haven't got a huge supply uh, by any means. Um, they're meaningful to me. Um, this particular one um, and this one were from linens that my um, grandmother, who I never met, had sewn. And another one that I've got is um, that a very close friend um, gave me probably five years ago and that was vintage I think it was came from the 50s or 60s so anyway so um, I've had help to learn how to scan them in and how to turn them into um, files that obviously can then be popped onto Etsy so I will leave my link down below so this I'm just going to go through them really for ideas of what you can do um, the first one, this was actually a tablecloth, and um, this is the edge of the tablecloth. Uh, no, this wasn't the edge of the tablecloth, this was the centrepiece. It was a huge tablecloth, and this was actually a centre, and it sort of went round as a circle. Um, but I decided if you cut one piece of it, it made a really lovely um, corner spot. And I did think, obviously, you can shrink these, you can make them as big as you like. I was thinking I'd probably pop a cluster on there as well if I was going to use it. These are just here as examples or ideas, really. Inspiration, shall we say. In the same set as that is this one. Um, this is more of sort of little tiny cross stitches on linen again, and it absolutely looks lovely. Um, and I thought that made a lovely corner tuck if you... Um, which way around did I do it? That's right, I thought, I mean really you can put them any direction but I really like that. If you glued here and here, I tried to keep my big hands out of the way, and then I was thinking it makes a lovely tuck spot like that. But equally I think the flowers look quite nice that way around actually, sort of hanging down. Um, obviously it could be a, a top corner tuck so you could pop something under there. And even as a standalone, I did back them, just as a standalone kind of journaling card really so that's one set uh, another set I did or I think I mean I don't know I think this is my favorite um, this was um, a very heavily embroidered actually it this set comes from the same set as this one not in the same set but from the same tablecloth sorry so this was just a part of the tablecloth and um, I shrunk it down for, for this sort of sample and again I thought it made a great corner tuck like that but I also love this if I can find my little bit of thing I really liked this as a kind of just a journal card so I did back it with some um, card and I thought I would probably, if, if I was going to com complete this, probably sew that on or glue that on. And I thought it just made such a lovely little, you know, a journaling card, very happy. And so say you had a pocket, I mean, obviously you wouldn't use this, but if it was a pocket and you just tuck that in there like that. I thought that was really quite pretty. So that was my idea for that. Um, this was another part of the circular part of the tablecloth in the middle. And I just thought... If you cut it carefully, like square, it makes a lovely belly band. And I thought that looked really nice if you glued it there and there or sewn it on to keep in with the sewing theme. And you just popped your, your card or whatever it was you wanted behind there. I thought that was really, really nice. Um, but equally, I think that makes quite a nice um, skinny tag. So if you had sort of a really thin pocket or I've seen people making pockets out of the envelope, window envelopes, you know, that has the see-through um, part. I think that would look really nice tucked into there. So that was another idea. And in the same kit, um, I then scanned this, which again, I thought was a lovely belly band that way, for example, and then you tuck whatever you wanted behind there. I also thought you could pop this this way. And obviously the beauty of this is you can cut it to any part 
that you want to fit the width of your page or just shrink it down and then you get the whole design but I thought you know if that was the width that's also a really nice um, belly band but what I had originally thought when I scanned these was that if your page is around about that sort of height I would use this as a fold out so I'd sort of put a little hinge on under there then you'd flip that out and obviously that's where you'd have extra writing space but there's lots of things you can do with them really these are just some ideas that I had I haven't got loads to go through uh, oh this was a bit different I haven't seen anything like this I'm sure they are there but I haven't seen anybody um, doing digi kits of crochet so these are some crocheted granny squares mostly that I'd got and I just scanned them that again I thought made a great I don't know why I was a bit obsessed with belly bands but I seem to have been um, a great belly band in a journal if your journal was themed of either vintage or especially if you're doing a crochet or knitting themed one or domestic science I thought it was great really um, a pocket I probably won't put that on there these are all obviously just pretend things but I thought that looked quite nice as a pocket um, in a smaller journal or as a journaling card I haven't really got anything suitable here but say I don't know as a journaling card for or just to decorate something really um, so that was that crochet I'm sure I had other pieces oh here we go this was a flower that I let's pop it on a bigger one this was a flower that I decided um, my printer is running out of red ink so it hasn't come out as red as it was um, but I just thought that was lovely it makes a really good journal card again for either floral themed or crochet or knitting or yarn you know sewing even nice journal card or again a tuck and then the final one just for something a bit different I made a hexagon one I really love that um, I'd probably I think use this as a journal card I really made this quite big and you can really see all the stitch definition I was really quite pleased with how that came out so that's my crochet ones we haven't got many more left um, I did some of my doilies most of these are bought I don't think anybody that I know made these um, I thought that this particular one looked lovely on a page either as a tuck again so you'd glue it sort of there and it would hold your items like that or as a page if your journal was say more that kind of size I think that makes a nice page just on its own and you'd turn it you wouldn't have all this obviously I just printed it on scrap paper but if you printed it on white or coffee dyed or whatever and then you'd have that as a page I thought that was lovely I love I think this is my favorite of all my doilies um, if this was your journal page what I would probably do with this is fold it around like that and again that would then be let me look for something I can pop there pretending it's too big but anyway um, I would fold that around there I don't really want to fold it anyway fold it around there and pop something in have it as a tuck or quite honestly I think just printing that on a page looks really pretty it's such a pretty little doily so that's that one and then obviously the others are just different doilies that I've um, scanned so that was quite a white one I think they look really pretty on a page or just as interesting journal cards for a change from you know rectangular or whatever so that was my doilies and then the last one which is just so so pretty this is actually a plique um, embroidery and this is the one that a family friend gave so in this little set there is let's use this one this is a big um, quite a big page this is actually a five sized and I thought this looked really nice on the corner again as a tuck like that it's just lovely I'm just checking them in frame again or as a journal card I have back that on the back and I think that just makes a really nice journal card but it's really really pretty and all of this was appliqued on with tiny tiny stitches all the way around and then this bit obviously is what she'd embroidered um, more just applique really pretty this was another part of it was a tablecloth but that was another part of the tablecloth again I thought that made a nice journal card or equally a corner tuck 
or on a smaller journal well you'd just um, make this bigger when you were printing it if you had a bigger size but even as a pocket like that and then I don't think I'd tuck that in but anyway let's say we had a, something to tuck in like that and I think that looks really pretty um, this, I mean, you can see how different they can look if you shrink them down. That was obviously slightly bigger. That was made smaller, popped at the bottom. And I think if that had a hole in and some nice ribbon, that is a beautiful journal card as well. So that was those. This, oh, I've gone mad on belly buns. Um, I thought I took one piece of the tablecloth, scanned it, and I've, I've obviously inked around the edges of this, but made that as a belly band. I thought that was really... Um, just perfect that little piece there as a belly band on a page looks really great hope I'm in frame or again you could shrink it a little bit have it as a fold out a bit like the other one um, I suppose you could have that as a journal card I probably wouldn't because really the design looks better that way around but I really liked that and then the final one um, was a different part because the only difference on this is obviously the rosebud is on that one this was on a different corner of the tablecloth um, and I've just printed that on a big sheet of paper just to sort of show what it would look like even as just printed on a page pop that in your journal as one of your pages and you've got all this to write on but you've just got something pretty on the page so I think that is all I've got for today it's a bit longer than usual I will link down below if you wanted to um, obviously have these printables um, and that is all for now. Thanks for stopping by. Bye bye.